Hello dear lovely YouTubers, I hope you're okay. I'm down to my last two angel cards and I'm going to do them both together because I'm, I'm worn out. <laughs> I've done too many readings so this is the final reading so there's there's no option really because it is this or nothing. There, is, there are no choices with the cards now, the cards are on their final cards. Are you with me? So I can't get it wrong because there's no option to choose but choose this one. So what I'm going to choose is something that matches these two brown stones. What matches the brown stones? Three different types of tiger's eye. It's the same pattern. And the three angel cards are humour, honesty and willingness. You've got to be willing to be honest. And if you can bring honesty in with humour and fun, then that makes life a lot easier for everyone. Now, a meditation card and the divine guidance. If you're looking for divine guidance, if you meditate, you will have divine guidance brought to you directly, won't you? And we know this, don't we? And the story comes to us so many times. Angels ask us to meditate. It comes to you through apps. It comes to you through media. It comes to you through listening to YouTube videos. We get the message through eventually. Have a go at meditation and see if it heals your mind in any way. See if it makes you feel better. And see if you get any divine guidance come to you. And these are two beautiful angelic pictures. And one of them is looking inside, internally. And one of them is looking externally, looking to the outside for guidance. And one of them is looking to the inside for guidance. And this is the answer. See, we always think that divine guidance has to come from the outside. And often it does in the way of thoughts and feelings that are brought to us and messages and signs and then our inner guidance recognises whether that's the truth or not, it's the honesty, recognising the value of this information that's come from the outside. In case you meditate on it, you think and feel and process this information. So divine guidance, trust and follow your intuition. It's God and the angels speaking to you. You are being divinely guided right now. The gut feelings you have, the knowingness, the visions or the inner voice are all trying to tell you something and it is very important that you trust and follow this guidance. If you drew more than one card, pay close attention to the cards that are on either side of the divine guidance. They contain important instructions for you and these nearby cards feature facets of the message that the angels seek to impress on Meditation is very important for you right now. Enjoy practicing it often. A quiet mind hears the voice of the angels more easily. This card is your angel's way of asking you to quiet your mind so that your angelic communications are loud and clear. First thing in the morning, spend at least five minutes with your eyes closed and breathe deeply three or four times. Ask your angels a question and then listen as intently as you would to a dear friend. Don't strain to listen. If you chase the answer, it will evade you. Instead, continue to breathe in and out deeply. Allow yourself to relax. Tell yourself that receiving angelic communication is natural for you and that it is actually an everyday experience. The more you relax your mind, the easier it is for you to hear the answer. Now, that's what Spirit wants you to know. They want you to know that you're capable of receiving messages directly to yourself. And you can do this by relaxing your mind. Now the oracle cards are the link between that very highly spiritual message and your, your little physical being that you're running around in. You're running around in this little physical organic creature, the human that you are, and you're linked to spirit. Okay, the cards have brought you the sun bear look at this again it's a person with their eyes closed and they're really focusing intently aren't they in their mind just like this person is it looks exactly like meditation but there's a bear and there's a little sun bear there picture of the bear let's see what this card brings us number 71 grow energize sun remove negativity she who manifests her thoughts of power over and around the world in which we all live, bringing forth the great sun bear, 
to carry and protect the seed of everlasting light so it may continue to shine down so there's two lights in these cards so it may continue to shine down upon our world removing the darkness from every corner and crevice the light of the sun is so important for energizing and growing allow its golden droplets of sunlight to enter into yourself and let it migrate from your crown chakra down to the ends of your toes and throughout your entire body and now we've got these two areas of light haven't we coming down onto this situation onto this person okay the light seer cards there's another person with their eyes shut it's because they need healing this is a person who needs healing from inside and the outside that's it that's the answer here this is a person in need of healing and this person the page of cups oh page of cups a little pig it's a little flying pig <laughs> look at it did you look at that symbolism pigs might fly okay pigs will fly before this person has to recognize that um they need healing <laughs> oh dear page of cups a dreamer somebody dreaming because this does all look very dreamy they are dreaming aren't they a new unexpected trajectory magic and synchronicity an open and joyful heart sensitivity and naivety in romance being motivated by innovative ideas there is serendipity and magic here like the first breath of love or a very first kiss anything is possible at this time be open to wildly wonderful miracles this is the when pigs fly card and holding it in your hands is a sign that unforeseen yet fortuitous events are coming your way bring childlike enthusiasm to the unknown and welcome any unexpected twists on your journey be open to inspiration from the strangest of places and pay attention to the intuitive musings that arrive. They will give your creativity wings. As you enjoy this time of strangely unique thinking, ensure that you are not being overly sensitive or blocking your own flow because you're trying to control the process. Allow your emotions to follow the breadcrumbs of joy. Play a little more, do something silly, stay curious about any feelings of wonder and awe and allow your sensitive dreamer to dream. And the mantra is, the world is my oyster and I'm excited to see what happens next. Okay, so this person's preparing for the new set of things that are going to come their way. That's great. And what is stopping this person? I'm going to open the tarot card and see what is holding this person back on my final angel card reading. Nothing. Wow, the Ten of Cups, there's nothing holding you back. Look at that, Ten of Cups, that's perfect. Wholeness, connection, full circle. You've come full circle and are feeling emotionally fulfilled, especially with your relationships and family. The bonds that you share are warm and harmonious, creating a strong foundation. The inner peace that you have overflows with clarity and grace, reaching beyond depth through cells in your body to your soul. Time is in your favour, holding space for you to fully express yourself in relationships. Revel in this beautiful moment. It is here where you can appreciate the connection between your friendships and the relationship you have with yourself. You are very much aligned with your personal values, creating an alluring strength and resilience. Enjoy time with your loved ones, knowing that the wholeness you experience with them reflects the wholeness you've created for yourself lovely this is wonderful 